What's up guys? Um, today wasn't a whole lot of fish tank stuff going on. It was mostly uh, working on this back wall here. Took care of that spot that I had mudded over there. I got some cable management going on over here. I gotta get back up there and paint that trim piece uh, because that's actually a non load bearing wall right there. And um, it basically went right to the ceiling tiles and it didn't look that great. So I just put a little bit of trim up there. And the trim that I put up there is baseboard. How about that? And that has a lot to do with the fact that wood is crazy. Uh, we talked about that yesterday in that video um, where I bought, I think it was eight pieces of wood for 200 bucks. That's a thing. Could you imagine if I had to build that right now? That would be obscene because I bought the premium studs to build that and I think I paid seven bucks a stud and right now those same studs are eleven dollars a piece that's crazy well, a whole bunch of aquarium stuff going on today um, we did have a pretty good thing happen a uh, account that I've been trying to set up for a couple weeks now uh, finally got settled and now I have the ability uh, to purchase fish corals uh, through said account so that's a pretty good win a lot of back and forth um, between myself and them basically uh, proving that I'm a brick and mortar business so one of the things that has been very interesting to me um, and the first time that it happened it's a little bit more normal now than when I it, the first time it was asked um, was them asking for photos of the shop even in, at one point when I was kind of setting everything up and I was trying to get accounts going, had a little bit of downtime. Um, I didn't have any downtime, but I was asked to have a couple of photos of the store, had no signs up. There was like not a fish tank in the place. So I was just taking pictures of an empty space, but it, it's happened more and more often. I actually had to take uh, a few photos of the shop. It, it actually looks like a fish store now. So that helps the house uh, but we got that knocked out we got the account set up um, another good thing that happened uh, today so there was this gentleman that I met at the keep on reefing expo uh, like two years ago and it was towards the end of the show and things were starting to quiet down a little bit um, I had actually had just done reef palooza in Orlando and it was like a month later and then I was doing this show in uh, Connecticut and I was actually um, it wasn't like I did the same exact thing that I did at Reef of Palooza uh, knowing that it wasn't gonna give me a lot of results I just wanted to you know continue to push you know Mr. Reef box and that whole thing um, but I'm it was towards the end of the day and a lot of folks you know, towards the end, kind of walked around and were, you know, chatting and networking and that sort of thing. This gentleman walks up to me, and I, I had been watching his booth because he was like three or so tables down from me. His table was nonstop, nonstop the entire time. And basically what he had going was like a little live food bar set up. And that was basically the inspiration uh, for what I wanted to do here at the store was to offer a couple different species of live food uh, and then you know you have your little bottle go through fill it up with whatever you want to put in it and then there's a flat uh, charge for the bottle so he is the inspiration for it and you know doing everything that I'm doing here and not really having the time to do the, like the little tiny things the little nuances um, and get the live food going I basically reached out to him I knew that he did some other things uh, but I, I know that he has access to these live foods and um, got back to me this morning and we're we're gonna do a little bit of working together and figuring out uh, a few things so I can actually make that happen uh, so I'm pretty happy with that as well some of you have asked about the phytoplankton the phytoplankton that I'm culturing is doing okay it's not doing amazing um, I probably should have sterilized the bottles. I don't think I did that um, or cleaned the bottles well. I don't know if it's necessarily considered sterilizing, um, but 
the bottles or slash vessels um, should be cleaned you know prior to adding the culture because if you have any type of bacteria that happens it's going to kill your culture um, i had two bottles going i took one bottle split it into two and one bottle crashed and the other one is doing okay um, i have since taken the second bottle and just plugged it into the air uh, to keep it healthy for the most part um, and i've seen the evaporation uh, happening pretty quick in there Eventually, I'm going to move uh, that system probably uh, here once things settle down a little bit and tap into the air system that I have the quarantine tanks hooked up to. So I don't have to use that diaphragm pump um, and that will be a little bit easier way of doing that. But um, pretty pumped to get the live food thing figured out. It's not going to be cheap. Um, it, the prices were pretty pretty heavy but um, at least we'll get that going and have that figured out that's pretty much what's been going on today a uh, little bit of emailage uh, working on this back wall kind of figuring that out actually there's one thing I can do get off my butt here and uh, show you guys I had my little paint station set up bought a little table thing I've been looking on like the Facebook marketplace try to find some things um, that I could just buy and paint up black this obviously is not going to be there um, that's me taking pictures of stuff. That's a light box uh, pictures of items for the store uh, but Little stand. I think it's a TV stand for my internet reef link and uh, shop foam and I think what I'm gonna end up doing so there's been a lot of things That have been kind of at play in this section right here. I Gotta finish painting up the trim. I was waiting for when I did that and then around the door I'm going to paint that black. Yep, that's gray. Just the same gray as the walls. Kind of weird. Down the road, just going to paint this black. But we'll see what happens. But I've been kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing here. So originally, I was going to have the freezer there. The freezer is way too loud. We moved it over by the water storage tanks. Um, needed to do something over here because I couldn't have my internet sitting on a bucket for forever. Um, so I needed to clean that up a little bit was thinking about putting the water box here water box was also going to be over here but i didn't think through something and i think it kind of settles everything so my point of sale system needs power and i can't have like cords just reaching around uh, so i bought a 10 foot uh, surge protector not that it needs to be a surge protector but um, I'm going to end up pushing this right up against that beam uh, so I can run my cord around that and then that's going to open this up quite a bit which was not what I was planning on doing so I think for the time being I'm going to kind of leave this wall open um, I'll probably end up putting the water box here even though that once I went with the swing doors I didn't really want to put a reef tank there, so if somebody really popped that, that could go and hit that. But if I'm pushing that down, it's going to give me more wall here, and we might as well put the water box there. Um, but I'm, I had some plans for this, and I think for the time being, I'm just going to leave it open for now and kind of figure that out down the road. Um, this is probably the most chewed up, you can see some weirdness going on there the most chewed up wall in this place and there's some pretty chewed up walls but uh, guys I got probably another two hours of working on the website I think I'm going to uh, put some ceiling tiles in and that's probably going to be a wrap for today oh I'm going to paint that trim too so I'm going to paint the trim put ceiling tiles in and uh, work on the website so not very fun stuff to record but i wanted to give you guys a daily video and that's what i am working on today i think we had talked about all the problem freight we are slowly making progress with that the stuff will actually work and i was really worried about that not working the way that it should and a little bit of an error on my part uh, but guys that's going to do it for today's video thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow hopefully with a little bit more funner video. See you.